June 16th, 2020. Version 1.78. A 3 to 10 gig patch to address demos? All right, I guess there's a bunch of other stuff in there we'll see soon. But the focus for today is the demolition. Now, to the disappointment of some in the community, this was not the update to finally remove demos. But instead, this patch was prepared to address hit detection and reduce some of the issues that caused people to complain. Now, personally, I was involved in the testing of these changes along with a few pros and other content creators, or as we like to call ourselves, prominent community members. In this video, I want to talk about what these changes mean for the average player, as well as dive a little deeper into the other side of the community that would rather demos just be removed altogether. Now, part of the reason that demos are being reworked is in response to my March 2020 video in which I showed that the original stated rules for demos no longer seem to apply. Cyanox themselves responded to my video and indicated that demos did change way back at 1.41 and now used an angle calculation based on center of mass. Now this change was not addressed in any patch notes, but for the last year or so, this diagram represents how demos were calculated. If you were supersonic and the line between each center of mass fell in the red cone, it's a demo. If it's in the yellow, it was a bump, and finally, outside the cones, nothing would happen. Now, in 1.78, that calculation is being adjusted to be more intuitive to the player and consistent in operation. So let's briefly go over how it works. Now to help with that, we're going to use a presentation put together by Halfway Dead of the Rocket Science channel. He was an important part of the testing and also better at visually explaining this stuff than me. Now the first part of this is unchanged. You must be supersonic and moving in the forward direction. Next is the forward hit check, which was that red cone from the old diagram. Its size has been slightly reduced from 45 degrees to 40. And finally, the victim check. Now Halfway Dead is probably right when he says nobody reads this part, or at least nobody reads it and understands, but this important addition does away with the old center of mass comparison and helps reduce some of the issues with side swipe demos. As a simple explanation provided to me by Cyanix developer Corey, forward check makes sure you're hitting them with the front of your car, victim check makes sure you're hitting enough of their car to feel a valid demo, not just clipping a pixel of their bumper as they pass you. So what does this mean for you, the average Rocket League player getting 0.5 demos per game? Well, not much. In a few instances, you might not be getting sideswipe demos that you used to, but you also could be getting more demos that the old center of mass calculation used to deny. The idea is that visually, demos and non-demos should make more sense to the player and hopefully result in less complaints. One more important note from the update, and I can't stress this enough, even with these fixes, bumps and demos will never be perfect in online play due to latency. And I'd like to also add my own disclaimer to this. Just remember the purpose of this video is to explain the intent of the changes. Now when a patch like this goes live to the masses, a few edge cases can and will come up. Now so far, most of the complaints I've seen can be attributed to players not understanding the rules or client-server interaction, but that's not to say that future tweaks might not be necessary. If you notice something weird, make sure you are saving your replays and you can help Psyonix continue to improve their systems. Now despite Psyonix's attempts to make demos more reliable, there's still a portion of the community that thinks the best answer is for them to be removed from the game altogether. Now how many people actually feel that way, it's hard to say. They're often a vocal group, but places like Twitter and Reddit are still small communities when compared to the whole player base. Pros want demos removed is a common quote, but from what I've seen, that's mostly only traced back to one pro and one former pro in Flume's video when he asked streamers what they would change in Rocket League. Now whether it's a lot of people or not, I still think it's an interesting question to consider. If we look at it objectively with an open mind, I think both the pro-demo crowd and the anti-demo crowd can learn a little bit from each other. I decided to dive into this after getting tagged in a Remove Demos Petition tweet. Now when tagging me, Classy was just trying to be funny, but the petition was legit. After getting in DMs with this player, I decided it was a perfect opportunity to explore this controversial topic. Now the things he was saying could have been copy-pasted from a hundred other tweets and Reddit posts I've seen over the years. Demos were unskilled, not good for competitive, and games are getting ruined from people always demo chasing. I've never seen someone make a petition, but other than that, his complaints were not new. With that, I decided Ocular and his teammate Fig 
would make perfect representatives of the anti-demo movement, and I invited them to participate in an experiment. Now despite our differing opinions, both these guys were great to work with, willing to see the other side, and also making some valid points for their own. Remember, these guys cared so much there's a petition, so you can't really question their passion for this issue. On the other side we have myself, a player known for demos almost since the game came out, and Woody, a player probably better than me at it, with over 50,000 demos to his name. Now Ocular and Fig didn't actually know that about us, but that wasn't important for what we were trying to do. I first suggested we explore the idea that demos take no skill and are a crutch, and I asked Ocular and Fig to go against everything they stood for and spend a game trying to use this mechanic themselves. Now from my point of view, if a demo takes no skill, then anyone should be able to use it effectively and benefit from it. Woody and I decided to hold off on our bumps and demos ourselves to let them have a chance to try it. As the game progressed, the bumps and demos didn't really work out as easily as the other team might have expected. I never died at all, and the few times Woody did kind of backfired on them, though some of that was just a little bit of bad luck. At the end of the game, the scoreboard didn't really look like two teams that were supposed to be similar ranked. Now this is not to make fun of them or show them in a bad light, I mean I did ask them to do something they had never done before, but I think it's a good example for those of you that like to pull out that no skill comment. If this is supposed to be an easy way to score goals, why couldn't they get any? Also, it kind of shows the fact that people chasing for demos should be easy to beat. For game 2, it was time for Ocular and Fig to get what they wanted. Demos would be turned off. Would that have an effect on me and Woody's game? Two players that obviously use the crutch of demos to the extreme? Would Ocular and Fig really rather be bumped than demoed? Now to tell the truth going into this, I really wasn't sure how it was going to work out myself. Now that Ocular and Fig weren't going for demos, it really turned into a more evenly matched game. Now the lack of demo ability did seem to result in you pushing people around a lot more, but I actually found that fun, though it did seem to waste more boost. While I expected there to be situations you would bump someone and make the recovery harder than if they had just respawned, I also found other situations where my bump almost got them back on defense in time. Ocular was also able to pull off his own great bump play to create a goal. Now obviously one game is not going to show every possible situation, but my final verdict is that removing demos didn't really change much for the physical game. Ocular and Fig said they were personally happy with how the game played and felt more in control because their car wasn't getting removed from the field. Now Ocular also clarified that he does agree in some situations demo plays are skillful, and he's actually not totally against them if Psyonix can instead reduce respawn time or maybe even let you pick your respawn location. All of which I agree could be a possible compromise solution between our two sides, and might even be better for the game. So what do you think? Should demos be removed? Respawn time shortened? Be able to pick what side you come back on? Or, I hate to even suggest it, should cars phase through each other? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, I believe every side should have a voice, so Ocular's no demo petition is linked in the description of the video. My name is Rocket Sledge, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.